Today in our 2014 Volkswagen Passat, we're going to be test fitting the Thule Wing Bar Roof Rack System. This is a great accessory for your vehicle. It's going to allow you to haul a wide variety of roof rack accessories above your vehicle. If you want to make more space on the inside of your vehicle, you can put a roof basket up there, you can put a cargo box, kind of get some luggage or other equipment out of your vehicle. Or if you just got a bike or a kayak, that's something that's not going to fit in your vehicle, just throw a carrier up there and then you get to go with that. We have three different components making up our roof rack. We have up top our wing bar crossbar. This is going to be made out of a heavy duty aluminum. They're going to be very durable. You can see we have it in the black color right now, but it's also available in silver. Just see eTrailer.com for that color. Now what's cool about these new crossbars is one, their weight capacity has been increased from your traditional load bar from 165 pounds all the way to 220 pounds. So that's great to hear. And we have great access into our T-Track right here. And unlike the load bar where you had to pull up the rubber strip and cut it to length to get it to match your T-Track accessories, you can just slide your accessories in between these two rubber strips and there's no cutting involved. So that's a lot easier. And you can close that cap and you're good to go. Now the middle man is gonna be our Evo feet. These are gonna be a great accessory to have. It just clamps on this under track of the crossbar. What's great about these new feet is that rather than having to slide it in and then you gotta take a bolt and tighten it down and that could possibly you know, get mispl misplaced and then you gotta re-measure it just in case to make sure you have it right. We're gonna have these two buttons underneath and you just push them down and that unlocks the mechanism inside the channel to allow you to adjust it on the crossbar. And once you let go, it's gonna lock into place and you don't have to worry about it adjusting improperly. Now down below, we're gonna have our fit kit for our Passat. It's gonna include this rubber coated hook right here, which sits under our door frame. And it's also gonna include this really thick rubber pad, which is gonna help protect your vehicle from any type of scratches or abrasions. With the end cap on, you can see we have some pop locks right here. This is gonna be on all four of your feet. You can replace those with Thule lock cores if you wanna keep your roof rack secure to your vehicle. Now we're gonna go over a couple of quick measurements for you guys. First, we're gonna go from the top of our roof of the Passat to the bottom of our wing bar. That's gonna be about two and a half inches. So that's how much space you have there if you're trying to use any type of clamp-on or strap-on accessories. Just keep in mind that it has to come under and you don't wanna damage your roof at all, so just be careful with that. And then from the roof of our Passat to the top of the crossbar, that's gonna be about four inches. So that's how much space you've added onto the top of your vehicle. Now with a shorter sedan like this, you're not gonna have to worry too much about any type of clearance issues you know, with height, but just keep in mind you have added that onto your roof. Now if your Passat has a sunroof, this one does not, but if yours does, there is enough space here for that sunroof to still work properly. But if you're trying to use any type of roof rack accessory, you wanna make sure that you have it closed before you try to clamp it on. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you how easy this is to install. We already have the front bar installed. They're gonna both install the exact same way. We'll show you how to assemble it real quick. We're gonna flip the bar over. We have it partially assembled right now, but like I said, it's gonna be the same process for each foot. We're gonna first grab our foot and take the pad from our fit kit. We're gonna clamp it on right here. Just wanna press it on like so. Just make sure you get it all the way around the bracket. There we go. Now we're gonna grab the hook from our fit kit. It's gonna slide into that slot down there. Now all we're gonna do is just push up until we hear it click in. There we go. Give it a quick tug, we know it's in. Now we're gonna to come to the other side of our crossbar. We're gonna to have to remove the end cap real quick. Set that to the side. Now right here is our scale. It has numbers in the slot right here, numbers and half marks, so you're gonna to have to pull it out and set it to the number that's specified in the instructions. We've already done that. So now we're gonna grab the foot. We're gonna press in on these two silver buttons right there. That's gonna unlock the foot. Then we can slide it into this track. Then we're gonna slide it all the way up until we're touching that tab. And then once you let go of those buttons, it's gonna lock into place. From there, just put your end cap back on and then we can put it on our roof. Now how we got the front bar in place was we measured from the top of our windshield right here to the edge of our foot. And we did that even on both sides and then we tightened it down. First you wanna make sure you open up both doors. Once both of them are open, we're gonna pick up our roof rack, making sure the arrow side is facing forward. 
We're just going to put that clip on the other side, kind of just clip it on and then pull, set it down. We'll do the same over here. Now from here, we're not going to do any tightening. We need to make a measurement to make sure we get our crossbar spread correct. To make sure our crossbar spread is correct, we're going to measure from the front of our front crossbar to the front of the rear crossbar. And again, this measurement is in your instructions. So just scoot it back as far as you need to. You want to make sure you do this on both sides to get an even spread. All right, looks like this one is good. We'll do the same thing on the other side. It's always a good idea to go ahead and double check it when you got it because it's going to ensure that you have a tighter grip on the roof. Again, I'm going to come back and double check the passenger side and then we'll start tightening down. Now you can see that the hook is pretty loose. It has some wiggle room. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin to tighten it down until the hook just sits snug right there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. The tightening bolt is inside the hook right there. So we'll use our included tool and begin to tighten it down again until it starts to touch our door frame. All right, now it's touching. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Now that this side is touching, we're going to start to tighten it down. And we're just going to go a couple turns on this side. And then we're going to switch and go back and forth to make sure that one side doesn't pull more than the other one. Once you've gone back and forth a couple of times, how you know that it's going to be tight enough on your roof is we'll begin to keep tightening it. And then your tool is actually going to start clicking and tell you that it's tight enough and that you should stop. Right there, we heard a click. We're just gonna leave it in place and do the same thing on the other side. We can go ahead and shut the door. There we go, good on that side. We'll shut the door. Now that you got everything tightened down properly, we'll just put our end cap in place. You can see those two little prongs. They just go right up there and clicks down. Now you're ready to load up your favorite Thule accessories and hit the road. And that'll do it for our look at the Thule Wing Bar Roof Rack System on our 2014 Volkswagen Passat.